everybody, and welcome to Crowdfunder Thunder. We are in our third week. We have a fresh new look, and I have an amazing guest here with me today. Wes Franks, hello. How are you doing? Doing all right. How are you doing, Leon? I'm doing really, really great. Um, I want to jump into it. I want to get ready and uh, you know talk about your project. But before I do, I would like to announce... Uh, I would like to announce to all of those listeners at home that this episode, we have several giveaways that we are going to be doing for, for this episode. We will give away a $25 gift certificate to the Gem Firefly after our second interview. And we will be giving three free courses away from the Storytelling Collective. Um, at the end of the episode. So stick around. Um, our, our wonderful mod is going to tell you in chat how you're gonna be able to enter. Um, and I'm very, very excited about these sponsors. Gem Firefly is a luxury comfort apparel and home goods nerd store focused on original content with a high priority on quality and affordability for helping customers express their lifestyles. And the Storytelling Collective is an online learning program for independent creatives and storytellers. Join an amazing global community and get support for your tabletop role-playing game projects through Storytelling Collective's RPG Writer Workshop. More than 12,000 people have taken our programs, and we look forward to welcoming you. Learn more at StorytellingCollective.com. All right. So, Wes. Please tell me a little bit about yourself and a little bit about villains a vampire the masquerade anthology uh i would love to uh hi everybody and hello leo my name is wes franks uh i am a content creator writer game designer uh and producer of actual play streams uh, that has hopped onto Crowdfunder this month to fund my next project, which is Villains, a Vampire the Masquerade anthology. Uh, I've been doing the Twitch thing for about five years now, and I've been doing the TTRPG side of things uh, since 2020, since the beginning of the pandemic. Um, I've produced uh, a number of high-quality APs, uh, as well as uh, some other uh, projects here and there. I've worked alongside a lot of great people and other studios and companies. Uh, and I'm here to do my first like crowdfunded show. Uh, in the past, we haven't really crowdfunded anything, and it's been kind of a scrape what you can together and, and, and do it guerrilla DIY style. Uh, and we're still doing it, but we're allowing uh, the greater population uh, online to help fund this project so that uh, you know we can uh, we can keep get people paid properly and on time. So yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. Um, I would really love to ask about the the story that you um, are telling with this. I um, I can't help but notice that the title alludes to one of my favorite aspects of a story, the villains. And I am very interested in hearing more about that. Yeah, so uh, Villains is going to be an anthology series that's set in the Sonoran Desert of the southwestern United States. It encompasses California, the part of northern Mexico. Uh, there's also Nevada, other places of that sort. Uh, it's a barren, desolate, isolated place uh, where not a lot of things live, but there are some things that thrive. Um, and... This is going to be a story about a community in that desert called Yodorowsky that's based off of Slab, Slab City, uh, which if those that do not know at home, Slab City is the last free city in the United States, uh, considering it is an anarchist commune. Um, so I took that inspiration, me alongside another friend of mine, Oz, uh, on a 15-hour drive back from Pax, uh, from uh, Philadelphia. Uh, we were uh, concocting the story uh, and talking about Vampire the Masquerade, how there's a lot of great actual plays out there, um, but a lot of the characters in those actual plays with Vampire the Masquerade, they are heroes. They're kind of, they're, 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 they're pushed forward as like, they, they strive to do good, even though they're a monster, which is the main theme of Vampire the Masquerade. But we talked about how, like, we really want to focus on those that they want to do good, but they just lean into that 
evil side of them every once in a while uh and, and they want they they push forward their own agenda and, and and what is what does being a villain actually mean does it mean that you're a bad person or do you just want the things that you want in life or in this case of life uh, so this is a commune full of vampires out in the middle of the desert uh, where there's a blood shortage, which is never a good thing uh, to happen. Uh, so, yeah, we're dealing with themes of isolation and uh, thirst, starvation, that, that, that desire, uh, and I'm very excited. That's really, really cool. Um, I have to ask just um, personally, mm -hmm. because you mentioned that the town was called uh, Yodorovsky. Mm -hmm. which is not a real place in California. Mm -mm. Is that perhaps inspired by a, a certain storyteller? Uh, it is inspired by the, the director of Holy Mountain and the not, not produced, not fully produced Dune uh, adaptation. Yes, uh, uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky. Um, there's a place in Slab City. It's, a, uh, it's an art uh, installment that's called Holy Mountain, um, which is, it's a massive pile of dirt that has been painted and covered with painted rocks of different uh, positive, uh, affirming messages uh, that are also some some scripture and very holy in nature. And I, and I, and I took that focus and I was like, I want to take a vilified storyteller who Yodorowsky, if you don't know, is a... <laughs> Very infamous, uh, more more notorious than than famous uh, when it comes to creation, creating uh, stories. Uh, and I wanted to build a place from the ground up that would seem seemingly exist in the middle of the desert. Uh, a lot of the stories that you see in uh, Vampire: The Masquerade are based in real places like New Orleans, Chicago, L.A., New York City. Um, and I wanted to be able to take those places. Uh, I wanted to be able to take a story and then take them away from those places. So that is, uh, that's, that's my whole main focus. My whole main aim uh, is to, is to, to create a place with the cast and also with some of our uh, funders that have contributed to the project and kind of build out our own place where stories can happen, where it's a playground of sorts. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, speaking of which, I would really like to, um, I'm going to pull up your, your campaign so we can mm -hmm. share it with our, uh, our folks here. Um, so you can see, I like, I like this layout. Yeah. Uh, chat, we're, we're trying a, uh, a new layout today. So you, uh, you may notice that, you know, things are a little different, but, but yeah, check it out. Um, there we go. All right, so here is here is the campaign page. Uh, we've got 33 days left, which is awesome. Chat, if you are, are watching right now and you, you like what you hear, then I encourage you to head to crowdfunder.com slash villains underscore anthology to, to show your support. But as I am scrolling through here, Wes, you mentioned you know some of the, the backer perks would you like to explain some of those to us? Uh, yeah. So when I was developing backer perks for uh, this project, I thought of different crowdfunding projects and things that were included that were feasible, uh, that were also things that I enjoyed. And I also like crowdsourced a lot of information of what people wanted to see. Um, the first thing is naming the credits. Uh, always a cool thing. A lot of the format of the show is going to have, uh, we're taking a lot of inspiration from Quentin Tarantino, uh, ground, grindhouse movies of the 1970s. Um, and I, I, I love having a, uh, a closing credits that's hard hitting and it makes you want to watch the next episode. And so we're going to have a lot of our backers uh, and, and everything that if you take it at one level and you go the next step above, you get everything from the tier below if, if that was anything concerning. So that's like the basic one is naming the credits. It's five bucks, five e easy dollars uh, to go ahead and claim that perk. Uh, the next one is a digital copy of the villain soundtrack. Um, music is something that is very important. It is, uh, it is something that I like to tie in all of my storytelling. Uh, and most importantly, this this story is based off of an album villains by queens of stone age uh mm. episode titles share the same titles from the songs that are in it um but i do not have queens of the stone age money i cannot uh, <laughs> i cannot get the lic licensing rights to queens of the stone age's album villains uh but if 
you're watching, Josh Homie. I would love to work with you to have have that to come together. Uh, but instead, I have gotten two different composers um, that are great friends of mine, and they're uh, they're wonderful, wonderful composers of music. Uh, uh, Jordan Freeze, who's known as Upgraded Moon on Twitter, and a, a bit of a local uh, legend of composition and uh, DJing here in my own town of Birmingham, Alabama, the Phasing Octopus uh, are two people that. Um, specialize in making uh themes ambient tones uh music that uh, that emotes and makes you feel something uh and this soundtrack like it states in the in the crowdfunder page it's going to take a lot of inspiration from stoner rock psychedelia mariachi ranchera ambient hip-hop and the soundtracks of david lynch's work um all kind of together uh each of our characters are going to have their own theme so to speak uh there's going to be an opening theme things of that nature i'm working with them uh and they are developing a lot of really cool sounds that are going to be uh available to you to own for yourself uh so at ten dollars ten easy dollars which is cheaper than buying a lot of albums now today to own uh mm -hmm. you can have full expansive soundtrack to listen to whatever point um it, it, if you want to study that's what i love to do is i love listening to soundtracks while i'm studying or uh, or working so that there's not a lot of distraction um but please please i, I have the link in in on their uh, on the page there go ahead and check out their twitter pages uh they have links to Bandcamp and other examples of their music there uh to where you can uh the audience go check out some of the other stuff um and uh, hopefully that is an incentive. Uh, the next thing that we have is at the $25 level, you are going to be getting a crowdfunder exclusive shirt and postcard. Um, yeah. This upcoming week, I have uh, the graphics that are uh, we're we're wrapping up on that. I'm going to have mock-ups to be able to share as an update on the page. So uh, if you're if you are a person that is contributing that is contributing, you're going to get these updates immediately, a notification of it. Uh, but it's going to be a very cool design. Uh, when I was thinking of the shirt, uh, a lot of the the cool shirts that I like are are, are, are wrap shirts or shirts that are uh, that are connected to. Um, movie pr productions uh where there's going to be a nice logo that says uh, villains crew on it that you're going to get and on the back of the postcard as well on the back of the shirt uh there's going to be a nice little postcard style greetings from yodorowsky um and it's going to have a, be a nice little like cartoon postcard style map of uh of of the area including um just some just some just some different highlights different places that you'll be able to see in the series uh and it's in the style of like an old disneyland or uh, uh or a uh, theme park map uh that's going to be a little bit rough around the edges uh i've been working with audio uh with uh artist uh Sade. Uh, uh, Shade Smith Edwards, uh, who is a fantastic artist who is developing a lot of the graphics for this that we're going to put together, and I can't wait to show everybody. It's going to be a very comfortable, uh, like high quality shirt uh, that is going to be able to, to 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 last years of use. Um, and I'm working with a local uh, printing company, New Republic, uh, that is also uh, labor rights uh, uh, supportive uh, and union supportive as well. Uh, so I'm very excited to be able to working with them. And you get a postcard and a shirt. Uh, so that's a, that's a nice little twenty five dollar contribution there. Um, and then, of course, there's a map. We're going to have the map that's available at a different level. Um, we have a, a perk where you can put your own NPC into the game that I can have interact with the cast. Uh, all the way up to our highest perk, which is an executive producer uh, perk, which is for $1,000, you are going to get constant updates in a direct line with me about the show, getting updates about how the art's looking, how editing, how soundtrack is sounding, things of that nature, and get, getting to put a little bit of contribution, kind of like what an executive producer does for any kind of studio-run television series or movie. Uh, it's something i wanted there to be a level where somebody can contribute and that really wants to see this thing succeed uh and they can have a hands-on approach with what it's like to have an actual play uh run and, and and give a hand into it that's really awesome i'm gonna pull up the cast list real quick i have a the image of the cast list here so we can talk because i see a lot of folks here who are using presences in the actual play community. And I, uh, yeah, I, I see, I see Jay <laughs> just commented unreal cast, my God, which exactly, uh -huh. yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear um, sort of about, about this cast or anything you can tell us about the kinds of characters they might be playing. 
Yeah. Um, so uh, over the past year, uh, I have assembled a cast of 15 other people, 16, including myself as a storyteller, but 15 other people that come from varying experiences with the world of darkness and Vampire the Masquerade, as well as varying experiences within the actual play industry. Um, we have our main cast, they're kind of like our main coterie that kind of we follow through uh, through the series. That is April Reagan, a uh, bully from Table Goth, Hamna Shahid, and Farron Bailey. Uh, all four have experiences with actual play. You've seen them in multiple different series. Uh, and currently, uh, Bully is somebody that has made content for, uh, for World of Darkness for a long time now. Uh, April is a, uh, a close and trusted friend who is a talent and a dynamite at any table uh, and is a bit of a wild card. Hamna uh, brings like very uh, deep emotive uh, kind of storytelling and uh, a tender, vicious queer quality to the game is what Hamna has designated it. Uh, and I'm really, really excited to be working with them. And then Farron, uh, who was a cast member of Philly by Night, uh, is a dynamite performer as well. Um, the rest of the cast are what we're calling our vignette cast. Uh, they are not seen throughout the entire series, but they are just as important. Uh, because between each episode of our uh, main cast adventures in Yodorowsky and with the, the denizens there, we are going to be having uh, spotlight vignette episodes on different parts of the desert. Uh, we're going to have our, uh, our, our, two, our next two we see there, C and Vin Vox, uh, are going to be in an episode uh, that's called The Way You Used to Do uh, that I'm more than happy to explain uh, is uh, a little bit of Only Lovers Left Alive, if you're familiar with that. They're going to be playing uh, two kindred or vampires that have been tied together for ages, for years. Uh, they've grown together. They've loved and they've lost. Uh, and we're just going to be having a moment. It's, it's going to be like a, just an hour moment of sitting with them in a diner in the middle of the desert and them talking about their experiences and how that turns out, how that ends is very ultimately up to them. But it's going to be heart-wrenching. It's, it's going to be just a gut punch of an episode. Um, our next three we have are Zachary Valdo from ATL by Night. Uh, who is a very, very experienced storyteller as well as player. Uh, uh, we have uh, Maria Moore, Happy Capster online, and then Paula Hawthorne are going to be playing three different kindred um, that uh, are hunting a cryptid down, uh, a local legend in the, uh, in the hills of, of the Sonoran Desert and, and Mount Fresco specifically, uh, something, a creature that uh, eats tourists and small creatures and has been affecting the local wildlife and the local um, population of Yodorowsky, and they're, they're hunting it down, trying to get a handle on it. Uh, that one's going to be a nice little exploratory, uh, nice little trek into, uh, into the darker side of the world of darkness that I'm very, very excited about. Uh, then our next four performers, Rachel, Miss Petty Dreadful uh, from Table Goth as well, uh, Prince, Dimples and Dice, the storyteller of uh, Philly by Night, and who's been included on Vancouver by Night's Delve the Darkness stories, Diana D'Amico, who uh, ran The Nightlife and The Day Shift for Renegade Studios, who was the storyteller for those, who is as well a dynamite performer, and then Syrinx, who is a performer that has been featured across many World of Darkness shows, are going to be in an episode titled Unreborn Again. Uh, which is about a club called Jackalopes, which is a strip club, a gentleman's club that is uh, down the highway, uh, down 111 from uh, Yodorowsky. Uh, and it's going to be a little bit inspired by From Dust Till Dawn or John Carpenter's Vampire. So if you like that more action y, like grindhouse style feel, then that's one to check out. Uh, and then we're going to be wrapping up our vignettes here with Nordine Ali Kadir, as well as Leslie Wombat, two, uh, Leslie's a close friend of mine, as well as Nordine, uh, two dynamite performers in the space, uh, are going to be in a, uh, uh, episode titled The Evil Has Landed, uh, which features a just little a car ride. Uh, a, a good Samaritan picks up a hitchhiker on the way uh, to Yodorowsky, and a conversation ensues. Uh, and I, I really wanted to, another tight, focused, gripping story where there's not a lot of action happening, but it's very tense. It's very dramatic, and these two performers are going to be bringing that about. I'm very, very excited. That is incredible that list is just like a who's who of world of darkness role players and that is just so amazing um 
I know that we uh, we don't have a lot of time left, but I mm -hmm. I would like to ask if you have a favorite moment um, from putting this project together that you would like to share with us. Uh, so far, my favorite moment with like, because it's been a very tense process. Uh, running a crowdfunder is very, very, very tense. Uh, and, it's, and it takes a lot of work. Uh, it takes a lot of long hours and a lot of sleepless nights. But my favorite moment so far is being able to meet new people that I didn't expect to, who, who had any idea who I was. And some of them didn't even know who I was. Uh, but them kind of just seeing this promotional material that I've put out. Um, we, we start recording next month in March uh, and uh, we're gonna have some like teasers and stuff to throw out for people later. But uh, being able to meet a lot of people that really believe in this project that I've never met before in my life or talked to that are like, the, it struck a chord with them and like being able to talk with them just for a little bit. And, and like, it, it's really cool to see such community engagement with a project like this, um, especially actual play, because a lot of people that produce actual plays uh, can agree that it kind of sometimes feels like you're shouting out into the void and you don't know if anybody's watching. But mm -hmm. seeing people really believe in this project and put their, their money towards this project to see it succeed has been very inspiring. Uh, and it's been one of those moments where I'm like, I don't know if I want to keep doing this. But then seeing this happen, I'm like, I kind of want to keep doing this. I kind of want to keep making more stories. And I want to see more people make more stories. And being able to connect with a lot of the other creators as well has been sick. Um, like a lot of people who I've really respected from afar uh, I've been able to like talk to and like kind of and, and talk about their projects and my projects as well it's been very very awesome so yeah that's fantastic well Wes uh, before I ask you my last question I must say that you have to pay the cat tax you must tell us what your cat's name oh. is now that they have entered the frame uh, yes. Hello. This is uh, Jigsaw. Uh, he Jigsaw. only likes to be Jigsaw. He only likes to be held like a baby. Like this. oh my gosh. Oh, um, his paws. He's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he he's a bit of a big boy. He's about a year old. Um, but he is, and he's he's big for a year old. But um, yeah, he's a he's a bit of a stinker. Oh, he's oh he's fantastic. Well. Mm -hmm. uh, Wes and Jigsaw, uh, is there anything else you would like to tell the audience before we head into the next segment? Uh, yeah, uh, be sure to check out Villains. Uh, follow me on Twitter and follow Carrie and Comfort on Twitter. Uh, like, that's kind of like my, my, my project, my production house where a lot of the stuff that I'm producing is coming out of for more updates on the show and, and do check out villains. Uh, if you've always been curious about the world of darkness or vampire, the masquerade, uh, my whole intent with this project is making something with a group of people where we can get people into the system as a whole without it feeling overbearing or without it being too much lore because a lot of the lore of the game is very prevalent in the system itself and so i wanted to be able to show that you can make your own project with that without having to be so reliant on meta lore and having to know everything about the game sometimes you can just make a story uh so if that's something that interests you if you like stoner rock or psychedelia or boogie rock music then go ahead and check it out uh if you like Grindhouse, Tarantino, David Lynch style stories and check it out. Uh, we've got something for everybody in the series. Uh, and and I'm, 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 I'm very, very happy that we're, we're getting the response that we have with people, uh, especially with uh, the cast that we have, because we have a very like queer and BIPOC centric cast with us that like they're putting in a lot of work. Uh, and um, I can't wait to see the outcome. And I, and I want you all to be able to see the outcome as well. Uh, so go and check it out. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Wes, for uh, for coming on with me. Everybody else, stick around because we have some incredible creators coming up next.